Welcome to the Microsoft Word practical tutorial session. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss practical number 12. The word practical number 12, which is related to the preparing equations. Here, the following paragraphs you can easily type and you can easily format the bold, italic, underline. So, those formats you can easily make. So we are going to begin with this row. Okay, so here just I am typing input, then with some space process with some space output. Making this text bold and italic. Here I want to place the arrows. Here I can place the arrows like this way. Insert saves arrows. Aroma. So I can increase the boldness of the arrow. Other than this, you can see here if you are drawing arrow little bit angled here you can see the height of the arrow if you make it zero automatically it will come to the proper way if you want to copy this arrow with the holding of control key track and drop it here you can copy the arrows properly when you are copying arrows only you will get the same size of arrow in a practical other than this, just go to the format shape. From the format shape, you can change the arrow color here, different different color you can apply. Other than the color, you can change the arrow dash type. Once I increase the width, only you will you can see dash type. Okay, so then arrow type you can change arrow size so whatever the things are related with the arrow you can change it from here format shape then i am moving to the next line so here i am going to type this equation ch3 c o h plus 2 O2. Then I want to have the arrow. I am copying this arrow with the holding of control key. Two CO2 plus two H2. Okay. Here I want to make this things are subscript just select the things make it subscript 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 like this way you can do the coming equations then I am going to the different equation here CO plus H2O CO2 plus H2 the two I am making subscript CO2 subscript H2 subscript I want to have this arrow how can I insert this arrow two ways I can make it one is manually I can make another one is insert equation just go to insert new equation here from the arrow you can get it so here you can select the arrow then from the arrow which one you need you can get it the thing is only you can increase this size this import so you can make the changes, widthness or heightness as you wish. 
other way around you can draw this by using these lines just line then make it zero then take the copy of line get one more copy of the line to the changes and placed it another one place it then finally what you want to do it select all the lines together with the holding of control key then right click group grouping now you can move here and there you can even change the size of these arrows like this way you can complete this entire worksheet practical number 12